welcome back to Persona 5 Royal with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy hey, hey. and Poogie. So today we will actually take a break from the palace and um, do some crossword puzzles. So, a stationary hotspot, heat, and how many letters is it? It's not beach then, is it? So that would be the first one, but uh, maybe not. That won't fit because that's six letters. So it's not beach. Resort? Maybe that's it? Well, let's see the actual correct answer because it's not beach. And the actual answer is island. Yep, it is island. Uh, so yeah. And um, All right. um, it's weird saying this in the middle of like towards the end of December, but yeah. So, um, a bit more for my knowledge. And let's see, um, anything on the thing? They're talking about Okuma of Foods. Well, I think his empire is going to come crashing down on him, uh, given that we're going to steal his heart. So, um, while we wait, I am. Uh, I might play some games. I might feed the plants, but apparently Mona says it's healthy. So, yeah. Are we going to go to sleep? Yeah, I guess that's for the best. We can't do anything more in our room, so let's indeed get some rest. And on Tuesday, well, we're going back to school, of course. Um, uh, psychotic? What? What are you talking about, man? Um, I don't think it's Shujin would prioritize your well-being there. Seriously. Oh, um, the whole thing is that um, one of the main teachers here was pretty much abusing students. Yes, I am talking about Kamashida. Uh, so, let's see then. Where shall we go? Um, we can presume see someone inside the school. Um, we can also, I guess, go to the... I don't know if it's Dr. Takemi or if it's Futaba, though, that we can see. That's the thing. But, um, let's see. Apparently we are going back to Yongen. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, I'm the first one here? Yep, you've got them all beat. I see. Actually, this may have been a stroke of good luck. There's something that I want to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. What's the situation? I've been thinking. I want to be more helpful to the Phantom Thieves. So I came up with a new approach to fighting in hopes of making it a regular strategy in our battles. But I need your help to make it happen, Mona-chan. <laughs> oh, me, eh? Well, if you need me, then who am I to turn you down? Thank you. So, I'll get right to it. What I'm thinking is... And that's how we finish. Haru? Sometimes the stuff you come up with honestly scares me. Oh, it's absolutely fine if you don't want to. Not another word. I'll do it. You deserve only the grandest of performances. Great. Thank you, Mona-chan. I wonder if the star will grant us our wish. All right. Just you wait, leader. I'll show you my best. I nearly forgot because of how good Haru is at fighting. But she's new to the team, right? Shouldn't we do what we did for Yusuke and Makoto? Ah, you mean the Phantom Thief basic training. There's much we need to teach her. Please do! Oh, someone's excited. Then again, I already told her the gist of things. What other stuff should we talk about? Oh, about how we defeated my fiancé in there. Will that have any effect on my father? Nope. They did something similar in my palace, and I'm perfectly fine. Uh, is that so? But man, that cognitive person stuff is crazy. He was so similar that even Haru couldn't tell. That might have just been a coincidence. Usually, cognitive people look totally different. The version of me in Kamoshida's castle was terrible. Uh, and the version of me at the museum was a painting, not even a person. Now that you mention it, 
Why isn't there a cognitive version of me? Is it somewhere in there? Well, I could imagine a couple of reasons why we haven't seen it, but I don't think you'd like them. <sighs> Come on, don't think about that dark stuff. Anyways, if a dude's cognition can change the scenery or even the people in the palace, couldn't you use that to make a dream world filled with places and people you love? Man, palaces are super promising. My greatest hopes and dreams might still come true. Well, that's kind of impossible this time. <laughs> but maybe we should try in the future. <sighs> in any case, if Haru followed that conversation, there's nothing else we need to teach her. We will entrust this to you, Haru. Okay. I place this in my father's study, and the treasure will appear, correct? If he notices the calling card, then yes. Are you afraid of doing this to your own father? To be honest, a little. Try to recall your anger. It will guide you in the right direction. So we're carrying out this plan tomorrow? All right, no staying up late tonight then. We can laugh or cry all we want. But we only get one shot at this. Everyone, I'm counting on you. It looks like this plan is a go then. But before we do, we get a few more, um... Um, yeah, she is quite formal. Then again, she is the daughter of a huge CEO, so that's understandable. Okay, well, as I say, only one thing left to do, and that's to either sleep, or play some games, or watch a DVD. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, so let's see. I watched some 31, and and I don't think um, we hear any impressions of Jack Bauer on here. Probably. I don't know if it's Keeper Sutherland, but we'll see. Anyway. Yeah. Um, what will this give us then after watching 31? Guts, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, but there we go. So, point up. Uh, no um, level up yet, so never mind. Or rank up, should I say. So, now on to the next day when we will send the calling card. And, indeed, prepare for the worst. Sir Kunikazu Okumura, the great profiteering sinner of greed. Your success and global fame exists due to the tyranny you reign over your employees. Thus, we have decided to make you confess all your crimes with your own mouth. <laughs> From the Phantom Thieves. I must take care of this before it becomes a problem. I've received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. I need you to send it over to the police. Don't make me repeat myself. Give it to the police. That's an order. These scoundrels have threatened me. Aren't the police supposed to side with law-abiding citizens? I will not fail. This matter is urgent. Take care of it at once. I need to let everyone know about this. Oh yeah, except um, they didn't do anything for the um, for you know who. Um, but that's besides the point. Now we are going to um, uh, go to school, of course, and apparently they're too busy talking about uh, the Phantom Thieves or something. Yeah, and despite that, Miss Kawakami still wants us to think of. Where in Europe is the Czech Republic located? Uh, sure, actually. Uh, <clears throat> I would say Eastern Europe, but that shows how ignorant I am with, with, with regards to the continent I'm supposed to be part of. But um, let's see um, what Joker actually thinks the answer is. <clears throat> And apparently, it is actually Central Europe. Way to go! <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I did not know. Oh my goodness. Nice <clears throat> going. And yeah, a lot of these questions do have a uh, thing. So a bit more knowledge and then, well, there's only one thing left to do. And that is to indeed go to his palace and, well, change his heart. Wait, he even figured out when we're gonna do it? This is different from normal. He has some nerve delivering the calling card to the police himself. Either he's certain his heart won't be changed, or he's colluded with the police from the beginning. As strange as it is for me to say, I could see that being the case. Whoa, the comments are coming in hot. Look! Take him down, Phantom Thieves. I don't care what the Phantom Thieves do as long as they show up, haha. Just do it quick, lol. They're just saying whatever they want. At this point, all they care about is seeing those in power beg for forgiveness. Damn it, this isn't a game! The means and the ends have been reversed. We're starting to be seen purely as entertainment. But we gotta do this! We can't just drop everything now! Considering the existence of the palace, his desires are indeed distorted. In a sense, the earlier we pull the root, the better. And given the issue concerning Haru's fiance, we don't have another choice in the matter. If we don't, then everything we've been doing up until now would just be for nothing. I believe this is best too. After hearing my father speak, I saw no remorse in him. Ryuji and Haru were right. Honestly, everything the public is talking about does bother me a little. But Okumura may just be the one behind the mental collapses. We can't leave this be. I feel like he's hiding something. Something big. True. And we are rolling card after all. Let's do this like we always do. And steal his palace's treasure! 